In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the boxed bean stitch. So called because you have your bean stitches here but they have a little stitch in between that separates them off. Gorgeous stitch, two row repeated pattern, gives you a nice dense yarn, slightly different on the reverse but still just as pretty. It's a really lovely textured pattern. So let's have a look at the tutorial. So for this tutorial I'm using an Aran weight or a worsited weight yarn. I think this is a paint box yarn. I have a 5mm crochet hook, scissors to cut off my end, needle to sew in my ends and a stitch marker just in case I need one. So we're going to start off by making a foundation chain. The foundation chain needs to be made in multiples of three plus two extras at the end. So we're going to make a slip knot. You can do this in whichever way you prefer. Then we yarn over, pull through the slip knot to make our first chain. So one, two, three, that's one multiple, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So keep going until you have your foundation chain as long as you would like it to be uh, in multiples of three plus two extras at the end. So I have my 18 stitches, which is my multiple of three, and I'm going to do my two extra, one, two, and I'm ready to start row one. Now row one begins with a double crochet, that is UK terms, in US terms that would be a single crochet, and we're going to work into the third chain from the hook. So we don't count the one on the hook, so we've got one, two, three, and we're going in there with a double crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the two loops. I'm going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. We're now going to do an extended double crochet or an extended single crochet in the US. So to do that, we're going to insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. So a bit like the start of a normal double crochet. We're going to yarn over, but this time we're just going to pull through the first loop. Then we yarn over again and we pull through both of the loops. And that gives you a slightly taller stitch. And that's what's going to give us the boxed or the size of the sides of the box around our cluster stitches. So in the next stitch we're going to do a normal double crochet and then another normal double crochet and then we're going to do an extended double crochet in the next stitch. So sorry insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through one loop and over pull through two loops and we're just going to repeat that pattern all the way down the, the chain so we're going double crochet double crochet extended double crochet so repeat that to the end of the row and you should finish on an extended double crochet so pause the video now and I will meet you at the end of the row So there I have my row finished, row one is finished. So for row two then, I'm going to chain two, one, two, and turn my work. In the very first stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. So we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to do our bean stitch, the cluster for the bean stitch, around the post of the double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and insert in that gap between the chain two and the double crochet. Yarn over, pull back through. So have three loops on your hook. I'm going to do that a total of three times, so that's one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's the second time, and then the third time, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull back through. You should have seven loops on your hook. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. We're then going to yarn over and pull through just the first two loops. Now you might want to do those one at a time or if you can see them clearly you can do them together. So yarn over and pull through the first two loops. So that's my first one, that's my second one. Should have six loops left now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over and pull through all six of those uh, loops. We're then going to skip the next stitch and the reason we're skipping that stitch is when this cluster lies down it lies on top of that stitch so we don't want to stitch in there. So we're going to skip that stitch there and in the next stitch we're going to do an extended double crochet. So I'm going to insert, yarn over, pull through, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through the first one, then yarn over, pull through the two. And you'll see now that that chain two acts like the extended double crochet in order to box in the bean stitch. So we're going to repeat that then. In the next stitch, we're going in with the double crochet, a straightforward normal double crochet. We're going to do the cluster around that double crochet, so yarn over, go in behind the stitch, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, go in behind, yarn over, pull back through, you should have five loops on your hook, yarn over, go in behind the stitch again, yarn over, pull back through, you should have seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook, should have six loops left, yarn over, pull through all six, your cluster is going to lie down there, so we're skipping a stitch and then doing an extended double crochet just to box that one in there. And then we just repeat that all the way down the row. So in the next stitch is a double crochet, then we do the cluster, the bean cluster around it, one, two and three, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through all six, skip a stitch and do your extended double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so continue that way down the row and I shall meet you at the end of the row. So I come to the end of my second row, so that two, two chains sort of counts as a um, extended double crochet and we finish the row in an extended double crochet, that helps to keep your sides nice and even. So for row three we're going to chain two, one, two and we're going to turn our work. We're then going to start in the very first stitch with a double crochet and this is almost a repeat of row one. Then we do a double crochet into the top of the cluster there, so that's the next stitch. And in the next stitch we're going to do an extended double crochet. We do two double crochets, so one and then one in the next stitch. Oops. And then we do an extended double crochet. Double crochet, double crochet, and an extended double crochet. So we're building ourselves up ready for the next row of the cluster stitches. And that's all you need to do in this row. So it's double crochet, double crochet, extended double crochet and you should finish your row on an extended double crochet. So work your way to the end of your row and I shall see you in a moment. So pause the video now. So I come to the end of my row finishing on an extended double. This head just helps to keep the edges as neat. So you've got the two chains and you've got the extended doubles. Now what we need to do is to repeat rows two and row three until we have the length of work that we want. So for row two then 
is a chain two. Then we do double crochet in the first stitch and then we do our cluster around that double crochet. So one, two, three, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, skip a stitch, extended double crochet. So it's exactly the same as row two, double crochet, and then do the cluster around the post of the double crochet, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all the loops, skip a stitch, extended double crochet. So I'm going to work up a few more rows now for you to see how it looks and I shall see you in a moment. So just worked up a few more rows for you to see how it looks. Really pretty stitch. I love the clusters, they give a really nice texture. And obviously the extended double crochets there help to really define those cluster stitches. Slightly different on the reverse, you still get the cluster but it's not quite as prominent as on the right side, but still just as pretty. Just a really lovely gorgeous textured stitch. If you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, it helps the algorithm show it to other crocheters. Let me know in the comments what you think you might make with the boxed bean stitch. If you've enjoyed my stitch marker today, this is the rhinestone butterfly which is available in my shop. I shall pop a link somewhere around this video and there are lots of other stitch markers and haberdashery items in the shop for you to have a look at. I shall pop two more videos on the side of the screen to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!